All right, it's the rundown. It is Monday. It's April 29th. Uh, 29th. Happy birthday, Dave. Okay. Your birthday. Dave. Oh, we yeah. don't. We don't have the same Interesting. birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank Tommy's you. been trying to <laughs> keep his birthday from you because the older he gets, the less likely you'll want him around. Is that true? Not, not yeah. true. That's what we said. Something. That's a classic big cat. What are you? 24. 23. 23. Young buck. Uh, <laughs> brought to you by Movement Watches. Somebody should get Tommy one for his birthday. MVMT.com slash rundown. You get 15% off free shipping and returns. Watch this nice go for four to 500 bucks at department store. Movement watches started just 95. We love our movement watches. Step up your watch game today. Join the movement today. So good looking watch, better pricing than a $500, pretty straightforward. Um, NBA playoffs. So they are underway uh, round two. Uh, the big news clear is the Celtics curb stomped the Bucks. And I mean, curb stop the Bucks. I had a money line. I had them game, so that was nice. Uh, what else? We got the Sixers lost, but I think that's going to be a competitive series. Portland starts tonight. Harden is arguing. So I only saw the highlights. I don't know what Houston's all mad about. It's the worst series in terms of refereeing of all time. Everyone's going to complain about everything. You have, like, the perfect storm of complainers and floppers. <laughs> yep, like, it but really is. Even the Harden, the Harden it, play, yeah. if he hit it, they're still down one, right? Right. They're all, there's this new thing. Like this, you, you know when um, there was the big thing in college about, like, the charge circle and stuff, and everyone was just, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. analyzing it? The big thing now is the Land landing zone, zone. Right, yeah. But Harden's jumping into people. Yeah. And then and that ball, well, and it's he's, like, And he's been doing that. I mean, that step back is, like, his Harden, you only can, move. You like, can't? Harden is a phenomenal player. Might be an MVP again this year. He, you can't like complain about every single call when you, half of your game is deceiving the refs with like the head back thing, yeah. the jumping, the travel. Every like, time, this is what but... he does. He gets to the free throw line. I'm not begrudging him for it, but it's like, of course there will be some calls that won't go and, your way. You're trying to trick everyone. Now, now grant it. This is as old as time itself of during a playoff series, the team's bitching Pat Riley. Yeah, now they'll get the calls next yeah, game. Yeah, right, and so it's that back yeah, and no, forth. That's, that's the I, gamesmanship. Draymond's the post game was actually very level-headed about it, too. Where what he, was just, he was just like, we can make the same complaints yes, all game long. The whole game, Like, right. we could have shot 20 more free throws. You could have shot 20 less. It's just how it goes. We That's the nature of the sport we right. play. And you have, like, you really do have between Chris Paul, Harden, Steph flopping, Draymond, like you have the the biggest group the biggest of divas and people who not only flop but yell at refs off after but every. I, but I, I do think they do it for like what you like you said. Like I don't even know if they really believe it, but it's just gamesmanship. Yep. It's like if we make a big enough stink, it'll go our way. Then they do it back to us. And it's gonna it be swing. a great series. That's gonna be an awesome. Series. What uh, have you guys thrown in the towel on the Bucks? No. You think they're gonna they? Yeah, rebound? I think that will be a competitive. I actually would say that has more of a chance of being competitive. Than Sixers Raptors. Really? Yep. Huh. Well, I took the Sixers money line and game tonight. Kawhi's so fucking good, man. He's mm -hmm. good. The Celtics is so well rounded though. When they're all playing well, which they are right now. Yeah, I just you don't you think the Bucks are done? I mean they may win a game. I feel like Giannis well, you're is just giving just one, one game? One. One game. Celtics and five? Okay. May. You've seen enough. I said May. May. Yeah, and to be honest, I saw almost none of it. I just recapped it because I was at Talladega uh, during the race, so I, I didn't see any. That was a that was a dance that I had to do because I was there to cover Talladega, but I knew the Celtics were going on, and not only going on, but smashing them, like at the mm -hmm. media center. But, uh, yeah, no, I think based on everything that I read, maybe one. Maybe one. Yeah. I think, I, well, I mean, I blocked it in moving right along. NHL playoffs underway. Bruins are still the favorites. That was a tough loss, the Bruins. I did see that. They had so many glorious chances. Just couldn't put the puck in the net. Um, so that's 1-1 one, one that series. I, who is this fucking Dabrinsky guy? Who is that fucking idiot who said, yeah, Dabrinsky, oh, we'll be louder and close. Shut up, Dabrinsky. They never it's, had a second round game. They never had a second round game. Yeah, no shit going to be loud. It's like one of those <laughs> fake franchises that, like, yeah, you know, they're probably having cowbells and fucking – Boom sticks and all that Dombrowski. Someone should break his jaw. I think he may be a stoolie, by the way. <laughs> um, so that's the, and then Frankie's Islanders are down 0-2. Brooklyn, the Islanders. Brooklyn Islanders. The Brooklyn Islanders, the Brooklyn Islanders mm. are in a bad. The no, Brooklyn spot. Islanders are not nearly as good as uh, the, the New York. I, I again yeah. recap, but people said you could hear a pin drop in Brooklyn. Yep. People are eating sushi. I that offered stupid SUV. The fact that they still have the fucking SUV there. there. No. I, don't know. I offered. The worst. I offered to him. Where is he? He's in Portland. On Sunday, he, I said, he's 
too close to being out of the team Portnoy, by the way. Not out of team Portnoy, but out of my guy. Why? Because he's doing. He just has too much going on. Yeah. So I mean, he's going to step up. I mean, Tommy's been out for a while. I don't know. It, it, Spider it, getting a promotion? I don't know. No. Uh, Gaz is out. Gaz yeah. is out. He said he's never traveled with Gaz again. Because of the spoiler? Or no, just he's just too into his own thing. He's not looking out for me. I need a guy who's like, you need someone who's, in, yeah, who's like going to bend the knee and just. Just like always be like, so how can we get Would you like keep doing point. pizza or would you like. No, I think he'd be part. totally out. Wow. And it's not a lack of effort. He's just got a lot. I mean, like right now, he's it's doing foreplay. He like fucked he can't up even like, answer for he, this. He fucked up like three things while I was in. I tried to be nice and go to the Islanders game. He like fucked up everything was in Talladega. I screamed at him. I mean, I'm like, I'll find somebody else who can do so, your job if you can. So, is it a call, a call to all people, to like a find a new friend? Yeah. Maybe he's just stretched to like. He's also getting older. He's spitting chiclets. He's like doing. He's doing that. He's doing this. He's got the honest like. I need. I need a meet. You guy. need someone who's just focused on you. Yeah, right. but I mean, that's what you do. You groom these yeah, guys. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. They and then he goes. Bigger and better and right. I don't. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I offered to Frankie that I would go to Game Five to try to bring some noise to that place, but he's yikes. being a little bit of a baby. About I mean, they that. haven't scored. Their one goal was a Carolina goal. Right. They like so, went directly off there. You know what? I actually should probably rescind that offer because there might not be a Game Five. There may not be. Not the way it's going. Yikes. So, uh, and what else? We got the one-one Dallas St. Louis, um, Colorado's. Oh, Colorado won last season. night. Yeah. Oh wow. Four three. That one got lost in Thrones. The, the NHL is the only team that would go versus Thrones, and that's a good set. Well, before Seriously. we do that, gambling segment presented by Twin Spires. Exciting Derby Week. Sign up for Twin Spires using code Barstool100 to get a $100 bonus when you deposit 100 or more. So Twin Spires, um, that is run by the, the Churchill Downs, all the same group. Put in $100, Barstool100, get 100. It is uh, Derby Week. The Oaks Field was confirmed today. I'm going out with LEO. Uh, is Frankie going to that? I think he is. Uh-oh. Yeah. This he, is an Islanders game Friday night. Road, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still. And... And there's also Celtics Friday night, so that'll be that'll be like again. Now, if he wants to prove himself, like the Celtics have to be his priority. Like he needs to come over the Islanders right no. now. I mean, he, that you can't what, but do what that. he's he doing right now, shirt. right now, the things he's doing is like I'd be sitting 7 p.m. Oh, watching oh, oh, like oh, the Celtics, oh, and he'd change oh, it to you the can't Islanders. expect him to, to, to prioritize the Celtics over the Islanders. This is awkward. No, you got to make sure that I have the Celtics game he, on. He, it's well, bad. he said that you. That you that he just said that you're, you're on to bigger and better and more successful things. I said and I may, that you might I may replace you soon. Oh, what? I may replace you soon. Oh, but it wow. wasn't as a lack of effort. It's just yeah. you had too much things going on. That is not what I expected to come out here to. I well, was... we already talked about the Islanders, but you weren't here to answer it because you're doing foreplay, which yeah. prompted the thing like, you're too busy. Oh, man. All right. Well, yeah. 0 2. Yeah, I mean, my brain, my yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. See what you did right there is exactly what Dave's talking about. Okay. Yeah, I know. He I came out here, started talking about the Islanders, not about Dave's life. Yeah, there it is. I, he I wants know. you to talk like about the Celtics. He wants he you to, to be like, well, I got texted. Dave, like, I'll do you whatever. Gotta, you gotta come need. out here and talk Islanders. I didn't know you guys switched. What? I mean, my life is coming into shambles right now. Clearly, <laughs> very much so. This is bad. In a weird way, the Islanders are like the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, not just big enough to get swept. The Brooklyn turn into the Brooklyn Islanders. That's like. What is that when someone turns into a pumpkin? Yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah. Turn yeah, back yeah, into yeah, a pumpkin. Yeah, bro, they turn into yeah, the Brooklyn Islanders. Your whole life Instead of a pumpkin, a pumpkin. It was the Brooklyn Islanders. Just can't yeah. get it in the net. Straight. The Islanders Clock are going to lose. And you're, you're still doing well, I mean, it. You're still talking just about the Islanders. <laughs> what about Dave's? What about everything he's got going on? Well, I Dave, mean, that we had a major shirt debacle in Talladega. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Like, I had this. Uh, my new thing is I changed the Goodell shirt to wherever I'm at. Yeah. So it's like the Bear Bryant shirt hat. And I was asking for this shirt. For three weeks, oh, like sure. with five to seven reminders, like where's the shirt? Where's the shirt? Kept various reasons the shirt wasn't being given to me. Then I was guaranteed it would be at the hotel when I arrived because I was on the float with all the like drivers, mm -hmm. and it just was late. Well, the Islanders are in the playoffs. Well, that was had nothing to do with it, but yeah, I mean it ends up falling on me, but it, it is oh. what it is. It fell on me pretty hard. What is spider? What do you? Well, that was a about? weird little lean in on hey, Tommy. Spider, there. what do you whisper? He was like about? whispered in his ear. No, no, it's, the no well, there is no, no. Talking to the mic, Spiker. Spiker. Yeah, it's my fault. Uh, the shirt was supposed to be overnighted. It was ground shipped. Yeah, but it, right. And that's what you said in real time. But I, you, like, I never was talking to you about the shirt. I was talking to him. So it's his fault, my eyes. It doesn't matter if someone else like my fault. Well, he delegated to you. So that's his fault. All right. So he can yell at you. 
but I yell at him. Yeah, it wasn't even supposed to be the ground shipping. Like we we ordered three shirts that came in different colors. Like that that. Well, Welker is a come. fucking moron. Yeah. So you can't like. <laughs> it's nuts. Like, like I can't physically Welker's produce a moron. the shirt. You have the shirt in your hand before. Like it had to be my hand before I left. Yeah. We know that. I mean, Welker has a decade of incompetence. We all know that. Yeah. yeah. He literally has a de- and he shrunk his head like honey. Who shrunk the kids? Like. <laughs> Well, just What's so. that guy's name who, who just retired from acting? Uh, Rick Moranis? Yeah. He, he Little Giants. Yeah, acting? well, I think he's like, I think his wife passed away and then he took care of his kids. He just retired from acting for like 20 years. Yikes. You never I noticed that, that he was just oh, never yeah, in a movie I, I, again? I, yeah. Wasn't he in Little Giants as well? Yeah, Little yeah. Giants. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. he just stopped. I incepted in that. It was yeah, like I, forever. I just incepted that in your brain because I, because I said he that. You just said it. You yeah. said Little Giants? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I Little Giants. Yeah. What's the guy's name? The Crew Cut Kid? Rick Moranis. No, 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 that's no. the guy. No. That's the guy we're that's talking the about. Guy yeah. we're talking about. He's not yeah, but not cut. the crew cut kid. No, Spike. Yeah, Spike. Spike. Yeah. And uh, Becky. Yeah. Icebox. Yeah, Icebox. Who went on to do softcore porn. Yep. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where? You didn't know that? Yeah. I think I did. That's, but I that, that's old it. internet. We blogged that a lot. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. I, it's one yeah. of those things you just forget over time. Yeah. What, what did you do? That comes Cinemax? back up every yeah, 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. somebody will get It's like, back, it's like, um, it's actually, I think it's like Spano. pictures. Yeah. Like getting she was naked in the center of showgirls. Yeah. Oh, that's a little more well known then. Right, I know, but like you just kind of forget these things over time. It's unfortunate. The mind plays. It's. Mine's very, very mean like that. The it's Homer Simpson. Things something lose. new goes in and something right. old goes exactly. out. I don't uh, need to know about the Brooklyn Islanders. I'd like to know about... Icebox getting naked. Oh, Icebox also Twin naked. Spires. We're doing um, at Churchill. <laughs> Frank, what are you doing? I'm locked out. <laughs> very symbolic. It's so I'm locked you, out. You leave one. You know, you doing anything they lock you out on purpose? Out. I'm just doing all the shit I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Did they, did they, are stuff. they mad that you left Again, the show? Yeah, he fucking so they locked me. you out. Yeah. Oh. He's like, you oh, leaving? I'm like, yeah, is, I got to yeah, fucking go. He's, 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 he's so in a I feel bad for him because that's, that's not fair. I'm not I sitting around. I'm not sleeping. I did say it was a lack of sleep. There he is. I just said it's yeah. got to, you know, I, I'll find him. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Oh, you go. Yeah, yeah, you go. Shut the fuck up. Um. Also, we have a party Thursday night in Louisville. We're hosting. I'm drawing a blank on the name. Look at my look at my Instagram story. Tell me the name of the bar again so I can tell people. Um, Game of Thrones last night. I think I saw some of your Kevin feedback. I didn't see yours, Dan. I'm on the same page. Well, first of all, I'm a thousand percent right on my tweet, my post last week where I said the the White Walkers are going to get blown out. I mean, relatively speaking, and that's going to be all about the humans. It's going to be one episode of White Walkers, and that's it. So that's clearly what's going on. I didn't like it. I Did didn't. you see? Could you see it? Like, like physically, like was it too dark on your screen? Like a lot of people like couldn't see what was going on because the I think that was the, the purpose. Was so dark. Right, but at some that, point though. it's annoying. Oh, yeah. no, no. I thought my TV, I, I, a lot of people said that. Yeah, I yeah. thought there was something wrong with my well, TV. Well, you agree that it's annoying. Like, it, I get the point, but right. I still would rather the, see. The people were totally. like, you, it's yeah. like you were in it. Like, uh, not only, not only see the show. See the show. Not only right. can you see, it was making me like borderline dizzy. Right. Yeah, and I was like, the whole time I was leaning. Yeah. I, yeah. I, after, after it ended, I went up to Kevin. I was like, so who died and who didn't? Because I I didn't feel know like many, there was a, I didn't I know how many was, dragons were left. Right. Yeah. The, right. These TVs are really bad, so I thought it was a here thing. And then no, it seems like, like everyone. Being like a no, good it, I had the same vibe. And I love Thrones. I'm not a complaining guy with Thrones. But I had the same exact vibe as the others. Like, this could have just been way shorter. Uh, like, I mean, what, the, the battle was just like 45 minutes of watching like chaotic fighting. That never really It was the it middle part. The Dothraki going out was awesome. That was cool. That was so cool. Uh, you know, like some of the some, how of did, the some of the retreating into the castle, but all the other how stuff. How the fuck did what's his face, the guy who has the scales, live? Jora? Didn't uh, he run no, out with the Dothraki? Dead. What? Well, he died. Yeah, but he he's dead now. I don't, think, I don't think he like Jorah? ran in with them. Like, Who's Jora? Jora is like, the grayscale guy. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, at the yeah. End, he died he got, like, fighting sliced for, up defending for Daenerys. Daenerys. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it's t- it was tough to follow. <laughs> I mean, the the main problem is the Night King just being like all he was was a big bad zombie who wanted to kill people, and then he died. It was a zombie movie in one fight. It, yeah, was, it, was it, it became The Walking Dead, which is not a good thing. And I, yeah. like, I they said all along that he was created to destroy humanity, and that's what he was doing. And they kept saying that, and I just kept not believing it because I said to myself. There has to be more. Well, that's like, all every other sw- character. Did you think? Do so you complex. think he was gonna kneel to Braun? I thought, Braun? Something I thought was there was a happen. chance he could have kneeled. If I, he kneeled, then then it would have been wild. Unbelievable. I thought he was kneeling for sure. Yeah, I thought there was a chance he could kneel. I so they. I'm happy that it's back to human versus human because I had never liked the Night King stuff. 
Um, Me neither. But, that, but the problem is they didn't. They did such a I know, detour with it. I, know. I agree that I'm happy that it's back to Cersei. And well, if he kneeled, if he but kneeled, like, it would have been good. Yeah. In a well, weird way. I think it's. I think it really comes down to like what's going to happen next episode. Is Bran going to tell us what the fuck was going on? He no, I, I don't. That, he was no. warging if, if out. We don't find time. out where yeah. he warged to. If we don't, I mean, I, I guess this really? is this is, the, the, this is a classic case. This happened with True Detective too. You go on the internet, you talk about it, you, you theorize, you hear all these like other things, and you, you think the show is going to be something that it's not. It's like there was other theories about Bran and the Night King that I think were just better than what happened, and that sucks. But it's just like, I guess you can't blame the show. They never really told you otherwise it was going to happen, but so many other people thought of basically better storylines. But you guys- the whole thing on Thrones is you grow to hate or not like, and it's like it, the Night King was just like it was just one, a one-dimensional bad guy. Yeah, he's correct. Everyone else has yeah. like he's good, but he's, he's bad. scary. Yeah, but it's but even like, that, then when he was supposed to be like he wasn't he wasn't he, duplicitous. Do you yes. think he's a Targaryen? Well, That's these the are the things. Yeah, he couldn't. He, he because was he able could to fly a dragon, dragon. He, he couldn't get survived. Burned. Bur- yeah. These are all the things that like we thought we were gonna find out, and it's just like now. Nah, maybe Bran tells us, and maybe you still will find out. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that this episode last night would left a lot to be desired. You got. You, you, you got to watch two more episodes for an episode to get good. Yeah. That means in real time it wasn't that good. Yeah. Were you guys? You guys aren't Jon Snow guys, are you? Yeah, I am. Oh, oh okay. No, no. I he, mean, he, your your guy stinks he's at sick. battle. He's terrible. He so. show. This is like the fourth battle he's done where it's like. I'm just gonna fight a thousand. Tactical people. nightmare. Dude. Yeah, they, well, the Night ta- King's no great guy either. Well, he, no, but I'm waits, talking about he waits so long to raise everybody. I just term- sit here like this every time. Well, yeah, yeah. Just, that's all I that fight. Play. Just, I know. Yeah. That's dude. That's why the dragons like where the fuck are the dragons? Just start blowing people up. Yeah. The dragons, you got dragons were so poorly yeah. utilized. So poorly, you, they just picked their spots. Was, like, hey, we could we could really use a dragon right me, about now, guys. Like the the my favorite fight of all time in this is when the first time the dragon was used when he came in versus Jamie Lannister. Mm-hmm. That was like my favorite scene, probably. I think in Thrones, because there was suspense. You didn't know. This is boring. Dragons are fucking lost in a cloud. Yeah, I mean, and the Night King's fight. That? Night King's fighting how like a pussy. He's that? like showing up, and then he goes right back down. It's like, well, can't fight him. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, like, if you're an Arya fan, I'm sure that was like a really. Cool I love moment. Arya. Oh yeah, Arya's like, the best. But is that how you wanted to see like the Night King come to an end? You know what I mean? Like, like that could have yeah, happened at any point right. to me. No, no. Like, I, I think it would have been better if like the, a plan came together where they like outwitted the. the yeah, they the, didn't the do. They're ta- it was just like he ran up. He ran up on it. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like throw the fireballs first. But I don't like this. You know, people act like you cannot criticize the show. You can't say that you were disappointed in something, or you're not a fan, or you don't. You're not paying attention. Like, no, I know what's going on. I know what happened, and I think it left a lot to be desired. Speak. Did you see that one guy, the, the blue checkmark guy who came after me? Because I said I couldn't see. And he, this is who you're talking about. He, I literally just said, like, imagine not being able to see a ninety-six million dollar battle. Mm-hmm. And he, he summed up like all the people you're talking about right now. You can't criticize anything. And he was like, uh, wait, what is it? I don't know how fat Tully made it through either. Come on, that's everybody unreal. made he said, it through. Kevin, was, you ready for this? Well, is Grey Worm dead? Uh, Even no, that, I don't think like, so. I don't think they showed one yeah, way or the other. Really. Some people are Theon saying died. Theon. No, people are saying he might be alive. That's because he just oh, got like in the stomach no. and you never saw him actually He's die. Dead. What was the whole point of the the previous episode yeah. where it was one giant cry fest and funeral if these people didn't even die? This guy. So I just literally said I can't see, and he said you spelled appreciate wrong. Game of Thrones is not for people who need to be spoon fed the plot and cannot recognize the use of various. Yeah, I mean, I hate that story shit. devices designed to immerse. I actually kind of like that guy. I just wrote back, you see Moss. Yeah, that that is the worst. I literally was talking about seeing. But I wasn't you, talking about the, plot devices. I was like, I want to be able to see this TV show I'm watching. The you don't understand or you can't appreciate is so fucking lame. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, uh, Nick Cage. He's just doing a little Purple Rain by himself at a karaoke bar. Aggro. It's time we all reach out for something new. That means you two. Yeah. You say you want a leader. But you can't even make up your mind. I think you better close it. And let me guide you. Would you love purple rain? Purple rain? Purple rain! Woo! Purple rain? Run in a minute. Cause you in a pain. I love him. There. I love him. I aggro. Like this is this is a four-day wedding uh, karaoke performance. <laughs> I just made a huge mistake. 
I'm gonna go to Koreatown. I think it was Koreatown, LA, and just scream Purple Rain. It was awesome. So good. <laughs> it's so Nick Cage. So good. It's it so is great. so Nick Cage. Yeah. It's right out of a movie. Uh, and then the last story we got. So this lady called 911 uh, and asked actually how to kill her boyfriend. She said she had already um, tried to hit him with a VCR tape like three times and was swinging the battery of a leaf blower at him. And, and she's like, he won't die. Wait, so, say it again? She hit him with a VCR tape? Yeah. Old school. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they look like well, the a Well, Yeah, and that, by the way, is the dumbest person ever. You're trying to kill somebody with like a VCR, VCR? tape. VCR? Yeah, like stab him. <laughs> stab him like a real person. So, <laughs> Throw up. Yeah, but and she did get arrested. Go, I, would, I would assume so. Yeah. Can't really, yeah, that's a call on the cops. Like being like, how, he won't die? That's, that's the old, I used to do this all the time, I think, the 912. Mm-hmm. That used to be one of my ongoing that would school be bar school. Call, yeah, a you need a nine one two number. Like, how do you kill my yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. nine one one. Or just Google. Yep, Google. Um, I got something on. Oh, what's what's the vertical on Lashawn McCoy? Like, I know that broke. When did that break? Did Friday you, afternoon. Yeah. Did you hear what happened on our plane? By the way. No. Uh, so Why I haven't seen the people? movie. Right. I am a fan of the Avengers, not as much as Thrones, but. Um, you Paul, were gonna see it. Yeah, well, I still will, but Paulie Docks, just sitting, reads Read the tweet out loud to the plane. What? Um, and then he tried to not like, but, but you no, but fucking he asshole. I mean, I mean, he then tweeted, like, I feel like an asshole. Like, I can't believe I did that. So it's he weird, see, no, but he, it slipped that out. That was not he, his, like, on the plane. He was, he was attitude on the plane. He's like, what? It's going viral. Everyone's going to see it. It's like, no one's yeah, tweeting. Everyone's I think saying that was him, asshole. like, scrambling before realizing that he's just a fucking He just read it out loud. That's pretty bad. What the fuck? I, 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 that I mean, fucking Pauly Dog. Oh my god. Who, I mean, honest question: like, who do you think was more vilified, him or Tariq Hill? That's what I said. I like, said right was the moment, I was like, that guy. the internet's way more mad at him. How about how Sean McCoy? Throne spoilers don't exist anymore. People were talking. Immediately well, about what that's happened. different because you can watch it. I understand. No, I, I don't know why it's different, but the internet has not been that way until this episode. I used to really? get so much shit for even. I still get if, it. If sometimes. I said like, "Wow," I Thrones had a couple crazy, last night. People yeah. Would be like, Stop with the spoilers. Right. And now, right away, people are like, "Arya killed the Night King by stabbing him in the stomach." I've been looking for that. Those. Was cool. I was, these, I was supposed to eat these during the fucking show last night. I couldn't find them. <laughs> they were in the fucking. <laughs> that night. was <laughs> cool. How Thrones though? Someone I saw someone tweet when Arya was training versus Lady Tarth, and she did the same move. So mm-hmm. that was cool. That was cool. That and was the a dagger. good throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been like I throughout mean, the whole show. You can't spoil a movie on a Friday afternoon when like I would say ninety five percent of the world has not been able to see it. Yet. Yeah. He well, Polly Docks yeah. just just it, read it out loud. And like, the truth spelled, spelled it wrong, so the, the, the filters didn't work. Spelled the name <laughs> That's wrong, so, so that even if you up. had the name muted. That's so fucked up. Yep. Asshole move. That's so fucked up. Um, yeah, Polly Docks just did you dirty too. Yeah, real dirty. Are you still gonna go see it? Or like you? Yeah, I will. I'll get it on. Luckily, I'm not. Die hard, like. Uh, like I've seen all of them, and I'm if, interested in seeing if this. If Bob Fox was on that plane, I it's think he would have taken so the plane down. It's just so Paulie Docks. It's just so Paulie Yeah, Dox. and you know he kind of, like he's he definitely kind of meant it. Just like read he's it. like, oh, oh, my bad, but like just blurted it, it out. Was a part in a of silent him. Was like, that, was awesome. that was definitely a misery loves company. Like if I got spoiled, then you. No, he doesn't. No, he he was, hasn't even seen them. No, he, he was misery loves all. company. If Dave's making me go to Alabama, I'm gonna make his weekend miserable. And by the way, did you see? No, it's awesome. T- I actually kind of want to see it, even though I've never seen it. It's really, really good. Talladega is awesome, and I'd recommend it. I, I would, I would put it up there as a bucket list event that everybody should do, regardless if you like car racing. I mean, it's just a huge, huge, huge tailgate. What was really? that or Daytona? Talladega by a mile, and I love Daytona. Daytona, I've put this in horse racing terms a little bit. Daytona exists without the race. It's like a beach town. Uh, you know, it's like a gift shop kind of beach town that the race Josh isn't. Yeah, if, just the, if the race isn't there, people are still at Daytona going to the beach. Talladega, without Talladega, you got nothing. You fly in, it's kind of like Keeneland. You fly in over these green fields. Um, people comparing like Welch when we're there, they're like, yeah. oh, it's fucking nothing like Welch. It's nice. It's well, there's like, nothing in the world like Welch. No, and, and this is just open grass fields everywhere. Right. It's the biggest. So we went to uh, Florida. Uh, uh, Tennessee, right? World's largest cocktail. No, no Florida, Georgia. Georgia yeah. Largest cocktail party. This, the tailgating here was 
a hundred exercises. Really? I mean, there's nothing I have never seen. Well, tailgating. because they tailgate all weekend. Too. All weekend, and it's everywhere, and it's yeah. free, and there's like a million different lots with his trailers. Is it hot? Everywhere. It was like eighty. That's it was not nice. Bad. No, it was beautiful. It was really. That's beautiful my whole weekend. thing with those things. Like, I would love to go, but if it's too hot. I'd no, it was really nice. Oh. And NASCAR gave us like an awesome trailer, so we had a good setup. Yeah, I you slept in the infield. I did. Yeah. yeah. I saw you hitting the flamingo bong. Hit the flamingo bong. Are you getting after it? Yeah, one night more so than the other because I watched the, the Bruins double OT game was Saturday night. That ended fairly late. But, no, it's great. Everyone's super nice. And we was suddenly, like, you know, a lot of people know yeah, us there, too. Yeah. So it, it was a ton of fun. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. There's actually a clip. We made a video, which kind of sums it up. That main boulevard, like, I was just making a video walking down the street late night, and just Ryan Blaney, like, just walked up. He's like, hey, what's up? Like, the drivers are everywhere. Right. Um, so yeah, very good time. I highly recommend it. Who won? It was uh, Chase Elliott. Yeah, Chase Elliott. Where Denny Hamlin finish? He no? didn't. Did oh, you? Did you? I'm a Denny Hamlin guy. Well, Denny Hamlin. Here, a little Denny Hamlin fact that I figured out. What? He takes adult basketball lessons. He has a a, a, a league, a, a, league. a full court. He's I know. Awesome. Yeah. He takes. But like, I like actually he has like a, like wait, a tutor comes. Yes. But I actually yes. completely. <laughs> That's wild. Like, I would defend that move. If I were him, I would do the same thing. If I had the money in, like, a, my own court, I would absolutely have a trainer come. I, 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 but I that's, I mean, I would call it, like, I play ball with a trainer. I would, no, I listen, adult lessons. lessons. Okay, the like, lessons is a little different, but <laughs> I, honestly, my dream, like, my dream life would be to have a house with a basketball court every morning I wake up and just take Play a thousand jumpers. He's, and just have someone rebound for me. He's arguably and then stretch me out, and that's my The day. most anal human I've ever met. Uh, he, he's into, like, for that league you're talking about. Oh, yeah, he keeps stats. The charts, it's awesome. gambling odds, love everything. It. I love it's it. It's the most detailed but that's, everything. The, and the one thing that I have to figure out is, does he get to win? Like no. Because that's what I would no. do. If I had a ton of money, I would basically just have, like, a basketball league, a softball league, and I'd have one of my friends... Hire a bunch of people to show up and make sure I always win. That's like um, <laughs> it would be awesome. <laughs> who is the golf? There's somebody. Somebody beat somebody in golf. I forget. Like you're not supposed to beat them. I forget what it's right. a show or a movie. So they have the basketball league and they have a golf league. Golf boys like basketball boys. But yeah, no, it's competitive. They do a new draft every year. It's very real. Um, and all the NASCAR drivers are super nice. So uh, yeah, it's a great time. I really do recommend it. The next one I want to go to. I know ZBT is going to Charlotte. And then I, I want to go to the Bristol Night Race. That's also, shout out uh, Caleb Presley for some of the best draft. draft the Will, Will, Will Greer. It was hilarious. Yes. What a moment. What a beautiful moment in the Greer household. A long time coming. Right down the road. The Panthers right down the road. What would you like to see all your family like this? It's crazy. I, I, like, we literally could have gone anywhere. We had no idea. And to be in, in Charlotte is, is incredible. It's very good. It and got so awkward. He was <laughs> interviewing just the most random people. So I am Will's attorney. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. So is there anything that you can't say right now because of your attorney? Well, that's a loaded question, right? And that you're an attorney, and I knew you were going to know that. Yeah, I knew you were going to know that. Good, though. Yeah. That's good. That we're in that house. Also... <laughs> Shout out Will Greer. Yes. Because Will Greer, NFL Network showed up, and they're like, you're going to have to take the Barstool stuff out for us to come in. And Will Greer said, no, hey, no, NFL no. Network, see you later. Yeah, and that, that one shot, I was clipping it because I, I happened to, like, turn it on right when he got drafted. When ESPN went live to Will Greer and Caleb was just standing there <laughs> yeah. of the scene, like, what's up? Will, Will, he's got, like, his head in his hands, like, you made a great decision. It's yeah. going to be great. And Caleb's just, like, there, like, just oh, lurking. Oh, I, so I would good. I would have loved to see the NFL Network's reaction when they're probably, like, just getting ready to move in. And he's like, actually, you guys leave the yeah. fuck out. Caleb's been here for three days <laughs> yeah. interviewing my cousins. <laughs> uh, all right. That's the uh, that's the rundown. The bar is called Sullivan's Tap House in Louisville. Sullivan's Tap House. Thursday night. There you go, Tommy. Thur 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 Thurby party is what they're calling it. Thurby? Like Thursday Derby. Thurby. Right? Giving you something you can't pronounce is really mean. Bad idea. Yeah, Thurby. <laughs> yeah. Thurby. I got it. <laughs> Thurby party. <laughs> Thursday night, Louisville will it's be there. The Derby. That, Derby. That'll be 30 by the end of the week. Derby. 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 I'm very excited. I've done some research, and we're doing a draft here 
Wednesday, which is actually yes. pretty cool. Everyone out of the hat, you get to pick your horse. If your horse wins, you get a thousand bucks. If you have like four people on your team, because we are grouping, it says KFC Radio, each of you get a thousand bucks. At PMT, each of you get a thousand bucks. And if they win the Triple Crown, free trip to the Kentucky Derby yes. next year. Yes, so very good prizing. I know who I like, but he's the favorite, so I'm not going to take but him. Okay, so did you, someone tweeted me you just, my that, tweet. That just, that just like flabbergasted you what I just said. Yeah, because Dave, the dirt someone, the favorites. no, someone tweeted my tweet. I said, uh, last year, please someone remind me to bet the Derby favorite. It's won seven years in a row now. Yeah, it's been a lot. Every year we do this. We get there, we're like, you can't bet the because favorite. Because there was a long streak where there the wasn't. Favorite. I like right. Omaha Beach a lot, but I don't know, I will not Great bet the favorite. Great name, too. Omaha Beach, he's, he just, right, you can't pass him. He like, you get to him, it's like he puts up a Just bet the favorite. Just do it. It's four to one or something right now. All right. Uh, that's right now.